In the Email Options tab, you'll find File Name. By default, your system administrator has already configured a name. When you receive your, your email, your document will already have a name. If you want to change that to something specific, you can say delete text and type whatever you want for your document name. Right next to that here, we'll find the file format. By default, most likely what you're receiving is a PDF. You do have the option of TIFF, JPEG, um, XPS, or a PDF are for archiving. You also here have options for com uh, image compression. So right under the compression options here, you'll find the searchable, uh, searchable text. So this is if ever you want to be able to make text selections in your PDF. You would come here, select it, switch it from image only over to searchable. And from there, you can indicate in what language your document is written. So if, if ever it happens to be in French, you want to make sure it detects the accents and whatnot, you can select it from here. And you've also got the option of text compression here, even if you're in a searchable mode. So this will actually enable you then to um, make actual text selections or do keyword searches in your PDF. And on the right-hand side, you have the security options here for your PDF. Right under your security options, you've got the optimization here for your quick web view. And over on the left-hand side here, you've got the option of single file uh, for each page. By default, when you receive your PDF, if you've got, for example, a three-page document, you're receiving one PDF of three pages. But let's say you have three invoices you'd like to email. You don't want to receive three emails. You'd like to receive one email, but you don't want it to be all in one PDF. You want each invoice to be its individual PDF. You would come here and select single file for each page and place all three invoices in your, in your handler, press start, and that way you would receive one email, but with three separate PDFs. To continue along with your email options tab, right next to the file format, you've got the reply to option. Most of the time when you're going to be using the scan to email feature, you are going to be sending the email to yourself, okay, to your as a recipient. If ever you're sending it to a new recipient, oh, I recommend always send a copy to yourself, but if you do send it to a new recipient, I do recommend that you edit the subject so that the person knows what the scan is about. And I also recommend to go to the Email Options tab and select Reply To and enter your own email address here. That way the recipient will be able to click on Reply and write to you rather than send a, an email to the machine. And under here you've got the option of Read Receipt as well. You can turn that on or off. And that's your Email Options tab.